the, the daily confrontation um, with, with fear has become a real practice for me since about three, three years ago, um, I, went, uh, I went skydiving in Dubai, right? And skydiving, skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear, right? <laughs> so what happens is you go out the night before and you, you know, you take a drink with your friends and somebody says, yeah, we should go skydiving tomorrow. <laughs> and you go, yeah, we'll go skydiving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and you go, yeah, and everybody goes, yeah, right? And you go home by, you by yourself, you're like, mm. Right, you're like, well, I mean, they, they was drunk too. We don't have to go, we don't have to do it. <laughs> so then that night you're laying in your bed and you're terrified, you keep imagining over and over again jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that, right? And you're laying there and you have the worst night's sleep of your life but you still have the hope that your friends were drunk, right? So you wake up the next day and you go, you know, down and you say where you were going to meet and everybody's there. You're like, oh shit. All right, all right, cool, 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 right? So you get in the van and you don't know that your friends had the same night that you had because they're pretending like they didn't. They're like, yeah, man, my uncle's a Navy SEAL and, you know, this is going to be great. I've been looking forward to this. And you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And your stomach is terrible. You can't eat and everything, but you don't want to be the only punk who doesn't jump out of this airplane. So you get there and then you have the safety brief. And you're standing there and the guys will tell you, well, if the chute doesn't open, what's going to happen as you're doing? You, well, well, why the hell, would, why, what could happen? <laughs> that the chute, would, the chute wouldn't open, right? So you do a thing and what you do is your first jump, you're attached to a guy who is going, you know, he's going to walk you out. So you go and you get there and there's an airplane and nobody's stopping. Everybody's still going. So everything's normal. So you fly and you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up to 14,000 feet and you notice there's a, a, a light. It's red and it's yellow and green, right? So right now the light's red. So then you start thinking at some point the light's gonna go green if you don't know what's gonna happen, right? And you wait and it goes yellow and the light goes green and somebody opens the door and in that moment you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane with the door open. <laughs> terror 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 right so you go and then you know if you're if you were smart you sat in the back so you don't go first right and then people start going out of the airplane and you go and the guy walks you up to the end of the thing and you're standing and your toes are on the edge and you're looking out down to death and they say, on three. And they say, one, two. And he pushes you on two because people grab on three. And you go, Arr! and you fall out of the airplane. And in one second, you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. You're flying, right? It doesn't feel like falling, right? It's like the, you actually are kind of held a little bit by the wind. And then you start, and you, you start falling, you're falling, and you, there's zero fear. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. It's bliss. It's bliss. And you're flying. <laughs> right? And you're doing that. And then 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 40 seconds, and you have enough time. The, the lesson for me was, why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Just don't go. Why are you scared in your bed 16 hours before you jump? Why are you scared in the car? Why could you not enjoy breakfast? What, 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 what did you need that? The fear is, fear of what? You're nowhere even near the airplane. Everything up to the stepping out there's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. You're, you don't have to jump. And then in that moment, all of a sudden where you should be terrified is the most blissful experience of your life. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. On the other side of your maximum fear are all of the best things in life. I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. I love living. I think that's infectious. 
is something that you can't fake. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, and I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know who, what and I believe. that's all I need to know. And that's all I need to know. So from there, you do what you need to do. You know, and I think what happens is we make the situation more complex. We didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were becoming, we were becoming something greater. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams, that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I've, n I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic you know while the other guys sleeping I'm working while the other guys eating I'm working there's no easy way around it no matter how talented you are your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled you know if you don't study if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day you'll never be able to communicate with with people with your artistry the, the way that you want so the only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. You don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to be Build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. I want to do good. I want the world to be better because I was here. I want my life. I want my, my work, uh, my, my family, I want it to mean something. And it's like, it has, if, if you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. You know, like the, the, your life will become better by making other lives better. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is The, the Alchemist, uh, Paolo Coelho. And that's just, I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened. You have to believe that something different can happen. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Universe. There's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to 
it wants to move and go around stuff, you know. You know, there's a there's a flow of the universe that I've I've grown to know just how to go with it. I, I realize that when, to to have the level of success that I, I want to have is difficult to spread it out and do multiple things. It takes such a desperate, obsessive focus. You really got to focus with all of your fiber and all of your heart and all of your creativity. I'm motivated by fear. You know, um, fear of what? A fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something and I think what developed uh, in my in my early days was the the attitude that I started attacking things that I was scared of you can't be scared to die for the truth the truth is the only thing that's ever going to be constant